The Boston Red Sox have signed more southpaw pitching to add to their left-handed bullpen arms, which relatively behind Taylor and Rodriguez is slim to none. So that's the news. Welcome to Clem Hawks. This is Gillis TV here today. And like I said, the Boston Red Sox have signed a left-handed pitcher. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. We are on our way to 4,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Now let's get into this. Left-hander Ryan Sheriff announced over the weekend that he signed with the Boston Red Sox via Twitter. Presumably it's a minor league deal for the Southpaw that will give him a chance to compete for a job during spring training. Sheriff32 has pitched in parts of four major league seasons, most recently with the Rays in 2021. He sports a career 3.65 ERA with a 18.7% strikeout rate and an 8.8 walk rate and a 56% ground ball rate in 44 and one thirds innings pitched at the MLB level. He originally reached the majors with the 2017 Cardinals and pitched quite well during his debut. His ERA was 3.14 and 15 to 4 strikeouts to walk ratio in 14 and one thirds innings pitched. However, Sheriff suffered an elbow injury in 2022 that required Tommy John surgery, which wiped out the remainder of his 2018 season. The Cardinals released Sheriff after the surgery shortened campaign, at which point he latched with the Rays on a minor league contract. He made it back. To the minor league mound for seven innings in 2019 and remained with the organization to the shortened 2022 or 2020 season and was back in the big leagues that summer when he tossed nine and two thirds shutout innings a bit front with only two strikeouts in those nine and two thirds innings sheriff tossed two shutout innings with the race in that year's world series against the dodgers Sheriff's 2021 season, however, didn't prove as fruitful. He pitched 14 and two-third innings, big league innings, and was rocked for 11 runs, 9 earned, on 14 hits and 9 walks. He did strike out 16 batters along the way, but also plunked 4 hitters. He pitched well enough in AAA that the Phillies claimed him off waivers after the Rays designated him for assignment. But Sheriff spent the majority of his 2022 season with the Phillies on the injured list due to a shoulder strain. Though injuries have slowed his career at various junctures, Sheriff boasts a 3.11 ERA in 170 and two-thirds AAA innings and a 3.65 mark in 44 and one-third MLB frames. He's not a flamethrower. His average is 92.3 percent on or miles per hour sorry on his sinker in 2021 and a below average strikeout rate but sheriff has been a ground ball machine who's had success in every level when healthy enough to take them out jolie rodriguez and josh taylor are the red sox two primary primary lefty options in the bullpen there's not a great deal of depth beyond the pair so sheriff could be a viable option at some point if he's back to full strength so this for the Boston Red Sox is just, you know, a depth signing where they needed another southpaw who has somewhat of MLB experience that they're not rushing the minor guys, you know, they're rookies. They're not rushing those kind of guys. This is just a sign, hey, you'll be in AAA. You can try and earn a spot on the major league roster. But if there's an injury, we want you full and ready to be called up if you're not on the big league roster at that point. Which, you know, they want to give uh, Sheriff his, Ryan Sheriff, sorry, his innings pitch and stuff. It is a viable option to have him in the AAA system just waiting for the call up. You don't really need more than two lefties. You could go with three in your bullpen, but two is quite enough for the occasions during the game. And he could be one of those lefty pitchers that double header, you could bring one more pitcher up. It could be Ryan Sheriff. But let me know in the comments what you guys think. This has been Gillis TV. I'll catch you on the next one.